All right, welcome back to the channel. I had tried to finish the large painting that I had been sharing on uh, the channel here before the start of the Tour de France, but uh, alas, didn't make that. Had a lot of other things we had to do. So here we go with the tour. I'll be painting every stage every day. I'll be sharing one of these videos each day as well. So this is the kickoff, starting with a time trial this year which um, may make things a little calmer in the ensuing stages when we get out on the road because some time gaps will be established and right off the bat not everybody will have a chance to pull on the leader's jersey like it is when they start with the road stage. But this is last year's winner I gotcha, out on course now. It looks to be on a very good ride. Um, the tour this year is starting in Denmark and unfortunately is also starting in the rain, which with these time trial bikes is a, uh, makes for things to be much more difficult. I've been looking at this particular moment in the course because what I'm about to paint here, they're coming around. Because just coming around a sharp corner. And they've put up these uh, pads around the fence just to make sure they don't uh, If they crash, they slide into padding and out into these metal fences that line the course, which is what I'm drawing right there. But these are some of the fans looking over. So they've taken these, in essence, mattresses and put them along the course. You may be able to hear my wife upstairs talking with my nephew sort of going over the some of the things in her studio So, sorry, I'm <laughs> concentrating on what I'm doing here. But so, the way I do these is, as you can see, to sketch it out in ink first. So notice there was no preliminary pencil sketch. So it's a little bit of a risk. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and that's the thing, I'm also painting with watercolor, so there's no erasing with that either. When it goes awry, it goes awry. So this is a little bridge that they're headed over. So it's this little roundabout, sharp turn, up a rise, church in the background. So. So title, and then sign, and then we'll go into laying in the color. Now, and I know I've talked about this many times, but I'll start with the lighter, warm, paler colors, and then build my way to the dark colors so that I'm a little less um, in danger of muddying my colors. So, <laughs> and that's about all the yellow there is. And so then of course the next would be to do the flesh tone, so mix up a little bit of red and yellow. Now, I've been trying to stop using flesh tone <laughs> because obviously, of the word flesh tone because 
not everybody's flesh is this color. <laughs> so we can call it white flesh toad. And then we'll move on to the reds, and et cetera, et cetera. So the fans are along the side watching the race, applauding the racers as they go by. And Pagachi runs for United Rides for United Arab Emirates. This is why I thought this might make a strong image of these diagonal stripes of the padding. So, you know, I'm trying to tell the story of the race, but I'm also trying to make an interesting painting that would be interesting independent of the, um, the race itself. I mean, this should be all of your artwork should, whether it's telling a story or not, should stand alone, independent of the story. Like this should be a powerful image or an engaging interest image, regardless of the fact that this is the first day of the stage, it's the time trial, it's Pagaccia, the defending champion, Avalon course. So I sort of felt like this juxtaposition of the diagonal of the cyclist against the um, con sort of contraposto of the um, you know, the stripes versus the angle of the cyclist himself. And we're laying some of the, and it's a very misty day, so these colors, background colors, are going to be, you know, it's misty and rainy and old and European. <laughs> so trying to capture some of that. just sort of getting some of these gray tones in the background of the buildings. Of course, these gray tones are rather purple. So I think we'll mix a little bit of orange into that. All right. And now I want to give just a little bit of Shading to this. So now I'm going to take a little purple and green, and that creates my black. There's a little too much water there, so. Mix, you know, and since there's too much water, my only option is to add more pigment. So there. Get the black of his shorts and the bike. The forearm is also black, but the gloves are white. And then some of the shadow under these pads of the roadway. It's a little too strong, so now I'll take some water and pick it up. And then a big part of what's going on, of course, like I said, is the rain. So now the challenge is to show that the roads are wet. And one of the ways 
is to show reflection. And then my black tone, pick up some more blue. So this is just about done, so I will say you can see all of this work at my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. I'll be doing one of these every day for the tour, and then I will translate that on to the women's tour, the Tour de France Femme, and do the same thing. And uh, also you can purchase all of this work at my website, gregleach.com. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Hope you'll check in each day as the tour unfolds for us. Thank you so much.